Yo, what is good? You absolute stud. Hope you fellas are all having a fantastic day. Today, we're going over the best card at every single position in Madden 24. Before we hop right into that, though, I just want to say thank you fellas for clicking on this video. If you guys enjoy Madden Ultimate Team, then you are by far in the right place. We're on the road to 1K. We're going to get there really soon. I need your help. Though, go down, hit that subscribe button. All right, let's go talk about the best quarterback in the game now. So the best quarterback, there are a little bit of a conversation we could have on who is actually the best quarterback. But in my humble opinion, and the only opinion that actually matters, kidding, I have Lamar Jackson. I really think it's a toss up between Lamar, Chad Powers of all people, and then Andrew Luck. But ultimately, I had to go with Lamar, my MVP. This card is so good. I will say he is so expensive. Like if you guys really don't have a millions of coins in this game, then go buy uh, Andrew Luck. He basically does the same thing as Lamar Jackson. I think Lamar is a little bit better. Don't get that twisted in your head, but he's like a third of the price. So yes, Lamar is the best, but Andrew Luck is the best value. But again, like Lamar is just, this card is disgusting. I'm sure we've all come across Lamar. We've all probably left after the first quarter. Cause like, yeah, Lamar is, Lamar is really good. So I will say I'm recording this video a few days in advance. I'm currently on vacation. Got to go rest up before NCAA 25 and Madden 25 because, you know, big deal over here. Kidding. But the best running back in the game to this day, I still believe, is Eric Dickerson. You could throw it an argument for William Perry, but I still think Dickerson is by far the best at his position simply because of his abilities. I don't really care what his stats look like. They're good enough, but this this where is it where is it where is it right here is really the reason why this card is the best halfback in the game until we find a lethal sky get off my screen until we find a suitable replacement for angry runs nfl combine eric dickerson is going to be the best after nine plays this card is glowing for the entire game like how is that fair it does it's it's not fair ea come on so for me the best wide receiver in the game there are a lot of really good wide receivers first off before we even say that so if you think i'm an idiot for this pick like Screw yourself. I'm kidding. I still have Calvin Johnson. I think any of the golden tickets are great options. Terry McLaurin's a great option. Any of the Blur brothers, really good. But I just have Megatron at, he is that guy. 99's all across the board. Six foot five, 236 pounds. Gets all the abilities you really need on a wide receiver. Red zone threat is like whatever, but it's really just a zero AP jukebox right here. And then route tech for one. Third down threat and then deep elite for free. Calvin Johnson, in my opinion, is the best wide receiver in the game. I think you could go with like a Harold Carmichael here. I think Keenan Allen sucks dick. I don't know why I said him. OBJ is really good for a free option. Vincent Jackson, I think Fitzgerald is a waste of coins. There are a lot of really good wide receivers to what I'm trying to get at, but I do think Megatron is still the best. I'm going to toss you boys in a fullback here. I have Mike Allstott as the best fullback in the game. Who could have guessed that one? We'll check out his stats really quick and then yeah, best fullback in the game. So for the best tight end in the game, I think there is a conversation to be had. For example, Mark Andrews is really freaking good. I think Parham sucks. George Kittle's all right. Luke Musgrave is still a stud. But for me, who takes the cake? Tony G. Ring of Honor, Tony G, LTD. This card is lethal. You toss a token on him too to get those extra abilities. Like, yeah, G, G. Tony G is still the best tight end in the game, but I do not necessarily think he is a must-have on every team. For example, if you do want to run a Mark Andrews or honestly a Mark Bravo for the run blocking or a TJ Hawkinson even, you can get away with it. Tight end is really up for preference. I will say though, do not pick up this Dalton Kincaid. This card sucks. I'm also not going to go over the best offensive lineman in the game. Simply go see what offensive lineman get free secure protector for the tackle. Center use Jason Kelsey and on the guards, it really doesn't matter. Offense alignment all really play the same. Doesn't really matter on overall. Look for 96 or better and then free abilities if you rock with that stuff. Start on defense with JJ Watt, who I think is the best left end in the game. I mean, look at these stats, six foot five, 288. Again, if you have a token toss and auto makes this card even more juice, but he's ripping steroids at this point. I mean, look at these abilities. He literally, literally gets everything. Like lurk artist on my left end for what? But yeah. JJ Watt is also the only gold 99 left end, so there's only, only one choice, right? At right end, I have career tribute Aaron Donald. Yeah, this card is still electric. 99s all over the board. Six foot one, 280. 96 speed on Aaron Donald. Huh? Aaron Donald is also just one of those guys in Madden who's always just so good. Doesn't matter what his card really looks like. Donald just plays like a beast. I mean, you can take a look at his uh, abilities, and yeah, I mean, he gets pretty much everything, right? Yeah, Aaron Donald, best right end in the game. The best DT in the game is John Randall. This card, 
yeah. I mean, I'm saying all these cards are so good. It's because they are actually the best at their position. So, uh, just get used to it by now. 6 one 2 90 all over the board. And this card just feasts on the ability side. Zero AP inside stuff. One AP tackle supreme. Zero AP interior threat. And then zero AP enforcer supreme. I've talked about this John Randall more than I've probably talked about myself over the last few weeks. Because uh, this card is so good. I am so happy you're able to get him for free through the competitive pass. Or just playing through your ultimate legend solo challenges this weekend. Best left outside linebacker in the game is Megatron. Going for 1.7 million coins for a reason. He's the best user in the game. 99's all over the board. 6 foot 5. Calvin Johnson is just a broken Madden card in general. And I mean, yeah. Megatron, you can also put him off the edge and is still a stud, but for me, left outside linebacker, Megatron is the best. I mean, yeah, who wants to argue with that one for me? Because you'll lose. Best middle linebacker in the game, 2 million coins for Rob Gronkowski. I believe he's 6'6", six six, 268. Yeah. Let's take a minute, moment of silence, look at these stats, and then, uh, yeah, Gronk's the best middle linebacker in the game. Who's going to argue with that one? Hopefully nobody. So I actually did not realize how shitty the right outside linebacker position is right now. We are getting a brand new golden ticket, Bo Jackson. It'll be live in game in about two minutes. It's 128. Couldn't wait to record this video. Sorry, guys. Sue me. But I think Bo Jackson golden ticket is the best right outside linebacker in the game for pure user reasons. If you want somebody to edge rush, then go with Mike Pyrosons or even Lawrence Taylor. Those are great options off the edge. But if you're looking for a pure, you know, user guy who's going to make electric plays for you, then Bo Jackson for sure. Now, if you're asking me to pick just one defensive back as the best in the game, well, screw me. I honestly have no idea. There are so many different DVs that are all so good. But one of them that's been my favorite all year is this Richard Sherman card, aka Crew. This card is so good. It's really hard for me to call him the best because there are two type of defensive backs. So it's a slot and an outside. But I feel like Sherman just is the best of both worlds. He's six foot three, 195, 99 zone, 99 man. But you can also toss him in the slot because he gets a zero AP secure tackler over here, right here. And that is so key in blowing up stretches or RPOs. So for me personally, Richard Sherman is the best DB in the game. But honestly, if you have somebody else in mind, like it's totally chill. The best free safety in the game, believe it or not, is a defensive tackle. Mean Joe Green, six foot four, 275 pounds with 99 speed. Yeah, that's all we got to say about the best free safety in the game. Imagine just having this guy blowing up your deep blue thirds for you. Yeah, that's really happening right now in Madden 24. And the best strong safety in the game should be Julius Peppers, but uh, I think Titus Howard screwed him over. It's Harold Carmichael, six foot eight. Jeez, 99 speed, 94 man is whatever, 99 zone, 99 hit power. If you run zone coverage and you have enough coins to pick up Harold Carmichael, yeah, go do that right now. This card is the best safety in the game, hands down. One, you can use on him, or two, you can toss him in a deep blue third, and uh, he will create havoc back there for you. And fellas, that is the best player at every single position. Let me know what you guys think about this down below, and I'll catch you boys tomorrow with what I promise to be the greatest video you're ever going to watch. Peace.